I'm Sibylla Beckman, professor of mathematics at the University of Georgia. In mathematics, there are some ideas that are so important and so pervasive throughout the discipline that students really do have to master those ideas in order to be able to continue on. For students in K through 5 who are struggling in mathematics, the IES Practice Guide on Response to Intervention in Mathematics recommends that the focus be on numbers and operations and fraction rational number ideas in grades 4 through 8 precisely because these topics are so important, so central, and so essential to any kind of mathematical ideas that students will be doing in the future. A focus on whole numbers means, first of all, that for, especially for the very youngest students, they need to understand that numbers can be used to tell us how many things are in a collection. Uh, gradually, as they begin to get a little bit older, they need to understand the importance of place value in the decimal system, um, by which we bundle, or we, th we think of numbers as bundled in groups of 10 and successive bundling in groups of 10. To help students understand place value and the decimal system, um, simple objects such as toothpicks or any other small object that you can bundle and put together uh, can be helpful. So for example, here are toothpicks and to represent the number 234, we can show four one, so four single toothpicks, and then three bundles of ten. So each one of these bundles could be broken up or un unbundled to make ten individual ones. And it shows that this number three, this, this digit three, stands for three bundles of ten. And then the two, the two hundred, the, the digit two that stands for two hundred, uh, is represented with two bigger bundles. Each of these bundles consists of 10 bundles of 10. So here we're starting to see the, the structure of the decimal system is repeated bundling in tens. So that would be the first component in understanding whole numbers. Um, also important, of course, then are, are operations on whole numbers. Uh, addition and subtraction for the younger children and then as they get older into the uh, upper grades towards uh, third, fourth, and fifth grade, multiplication and division as well. As part of understanding the operations, um, students need to understand how the various operations work, why they work, especially what the operations mean. So when we're adding and subtracting, what does that mean and what kinds of problems does it solve? To understand the algorithms uh, for addition and subtraction and the algorithms for multiplication and division, those involve extremely important reasoning. An algorithm is basically a recipe for completing a calculation or carrying out a calculation. So you're familiar with, uh, for example, the addition and subtraction algorithms. This is the process by which we determine how to add or subtract two multi-digit numbers. So there's a certain order in which you carry out the steps, and there's um, a, a logic to those steps. However, oftentimes when we're simply carrying out the steps, um, it's easy to forget or not necessarily be thinking about the logic that underlies those steps. For students in grades four through eight who are struggling with mathematics, uh, the IES Practice Guide on Response to Intervention in Mathematics recommends that these students focus on rational number ideas. Rational numbers means basically the fractions and the decimals and in addition to the whole numbers. First of all, those students should understand what fractions mean, what they stand for. Part of a focus on rational number is to be able to solve a variety of story problems using a variety of contexts and different situations um, using those numbers, using fractions, finite decimals, and percents. 
for students in tiers two and three who are struggling with mathematics, it is very important that they understand the reasoning behind the methods of calculation that they're learning. The reasoning and the ideas that are embedded in, in those calculation methods is um, essential and is, is used in more advanced mathematics. So by learning those ideas, by learning those lines of reasoning, students are actually preparing to um, learn other ideas that uh, in algebra, for example, or in geometry also, that are similar and that use a similar type of reasoning. Mm -hmm.